overflows. Awareness, the greatest alchemy. Awareness is the greatest alchemy possible. Just go on becoming more and more aware and you will find your life starts changing for better in every possible dimension. It will bring great fulfillment. Mahabir is the first man in the history of human consciousness who has actually worked out that if a man can remember and be aware for 48 minutes continuously, that is enough. He will become enlightened and nobody can prevent him. Just 48 minutes is enough to be enlightened. But it is difficult even for 48 seconds. For awareness, you need not renounce the world or go to the mountains or monasteries or anywhere else. Your life, moment to moment, gives you enough opportunities to be aware. Each moment, circumstances and situation come when you can be aware or unaware. Somebody insults you, you listen to it with full awareness and you will be surprised the insult is no more an insult. You may even smile. It hurts only when it is received in unawareness. And in reality, we receive such moments only in state of unawareness. Someone praises you and appreciates you Again, listen with alertness and then nobody can persuade you to do foolish things. Nobody can bribe you and flattery too becomes impossible. You will smile at the whole nonsense of it. Gurdjieff was the first man who practiced this. When he belonged to a nomadic society, his father was dying. He told him, I do not have anything to give it to you except one piece of advice. And it is relevant. Whenever anger is coming to you, postpone it for 24 hours. He told his Gurdjieff, you may not understand it, the moment you will understand, your life will transform. Gurdjieff started practicing from the same very moment. If someone says something to him, in a way insulting or otherwise, Gurdjieff will say, I will come back and respond to you after 24 hours. So sometimes it may happen that after 24 hours Gurdjieff will not go because that 24 hours was enough. This was the period of being aware. During that period you will realize whatsoever the person is saying is right about me. And if something is right then why to get angry? And other times you will find that whatsoever someone is saying is because of his emotional disturbance and that is not true about me. So for that too, he did need to go. He says that this particular piece of advice has transformed his life. Listen, watch and be aware. And by and by a different quality of being arises in you, which is neither of the body nor the feeling, nor of thoughts, a different pillar of flame starts gathering within you and becomes more 
and more crystallized. As this awareness becomes crystallized, for the first time you will feel more and more that you are. This is the feeling of being and then moods will become more and more irrelevant. They will come and go but you will remain unperturbed, undisturbed. The climate will change around you. Someone may die. You may have financial loss, but you will remain unchanged as if nothing has happened. What's, whatever happens on the outside will not in any way change you or affect you within. The within remains absolutely pure and uncorrupted. You are the watcher on the hill. This is your true nature. Awareness means you are listening to me unfocused. Of course, alertness is there. You have not fallen asleep, but alert to these birds, their chirpings, to the wind that passes through the trees, alert to everything that is happening in this precise single moment. Concentration excludes much, includes little. Awareness excludes nothing, instead includes all. Awareness is a state of no mind. You are, yet you are not focused. You are just a mirror reflecting and echoing all that comes in front of it. There is beauty in it and the silence and stillness too. Suddenly you are and you are not and the miracle starts happening. In this silence you will feel compassion compassion for all suffering beings. It has not to be practiced either. It comes on its own. This moment is enough. Be aware in this moment. This very moment is total. And when the next moment and when next moment you forget so it be. Be aware of your forgetfulness. One has to be attentive even to one's inattentiveness. There are moments when you are aware. In those moments you are aware of your awareness. It is not a simple awareness. It is complex. You are aware of your awareness. Then there are moments when you are aware of your unawareness. But unawareness, but awareness continues as a substratum. Sometimes you are aware of your awareness and other times you are aware of unawareness. Awareness has nothing to do. It is like a state of mirror. In front of mirror, whatsoever comes, mirror reflects. It does not make distinction. In both cases, whether there is awareness or unawareness, you are aware. And that is a beautiful moment. You remember something and at the same time you forget that you have to remember this but you are aware that you have forgotten this is also beautiful once you have tasted awareness nothing is worth it you have known the greatest bliss of life then suddenly many things simply drop they look stupid and become foolish. The motivation is not there. 
the desire is not there, the dreams have fallen, this is awareness. Practice awareness, be more and more aware, one becomes more aware. There is no way to it, it is a simple process. Whatsoever you are doing, do it with such consciousness as if it is a question of life and death, as if a sword is hanging over you. I teach you how to live life more attentively, mindfully and meditatively each moment with love, caring and consciousness. Be aware as you traverse through life's roads, moment to moment, new meaning will arise, bliss will overflow as the fragrance of awareness. Be aware as you traverse through life's roads, moment to moment, new meaning will arise, bliss will overflow as the fragrance of awareness. Enough for now.